first what is the measure of a right angle and second one is a straight angle well you can measure it with the help of a protector and from our previous knowledge this is the right angle or one fourth of a revolution you can see here it is measuring 90 degrees therefore we can say the right angle is equal to 90 degrees second a straight angle so we have made a straight edge CAB is a straight edge and we have placed point A the point on the protector and measuring the AC therefore it turns out to be 180 degree therefore a straight angle is 180 degree second say true or false so first part the measure of an acute angle is less than 90 degree well this is true if this acute angle is less than 90 degrees b the measure of an obtuse angle is less than 90 degrees well it is false it is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree so we will cross it c the measure of a reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees well it is true therefore we will take it b the measure of one complete revolution is 360 degree yes it is true because we divide a circle into 360 parts or degrees e if measure of angle a is equal to 53 degree and measure of angle b equal to 35 degree then measure of angle a is greater than measure of angle b well true yes why because 53 is greater than 35 so it was your second question third write down the measures of so we will find some acute angles and some obtuse angles give at least two example of each with the help of a protractor we will measure the degrees so first one is acute angle less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degrees so as you can see here the 23 falls in between it is almost here and 89 is just less than 90 degree it is the last measure of acute angle and then 45 in the center then 35 would be approximately here there is one degree and so on you can name others now obtuse angles the so obtuse angle is angle greater than 90 and less than 180 degrees so all the angles which falls here so 91 is here almost and we have 100 which falls here then we can name 125 these all are obtuse angles and another 135 and so on till 179 because 179 is the last obtuse angle 180 is a straight angle and in case of 90 acute angle it is not acute angle it is right angle so this is how to differentiate between angles that was your question number third fourth measure the angles given below using the protractor and write down the measure so this is your protector and how we will measure it first of all we will place this point on this straight edge or this ray and coincide this ray with it and we will match where this ray falls so it will give you 45 degree here again we will point this at the ray starting and go inside this ray and we will see all through 0 it goes from 0 to 120 to somewhere here this is your B part here it is again the same process coinciding this ray with 0 degree and measuring turns out to be 90 degree this is your C part now here we have three angles now from this side because this side is also 0 we will coincide with 0 and match with internal angles it will come out to be here 60 degrees Now checking obtuse angle. 
here we'll place a point and a zero degree from left hand side and we'll match from zero to it turns out to be 130 degrees now the last angle we place this ray with a zero coinciding it with zero and we will measure it and it comes 90 degrees in this case so this was your question number fourth question five which angle has a large measure we have two angles find estimate and then measure so first of all we will estimate and we'll find the measure of angle a as well as measure of angle b now first let's let's estimate so here angle a seems to be smaller than angle b because angle b is wider it seems to be wider because angle a falls somewhere here therefore b is bigger than a that is according to our perception or our estimate this is smaller now let's measure it with the help of a protractor so this is our protractor you will place this point at angle a and coincide this with zero and we will measure it up to 40 it comes out to be 40 degree in this case now measuring here we'll again place this point at angle b and coincide with zero and we'll see that it turns out to be 68 degrees therefore we can say that angle b is greater than angle a this is the question number five sixth from these two angles these are two angles which has larger measure estimate and then confirm by measuring them again the same thing now we'll try to estimate it so here again this one seems to be smaller than this one this is larger this is wider it seems to be smaller therefore it is bigger than this one therefore this is smaller that was our estimate and now we'll try to measure it with the help of protractor we will place it here a point and read from zero it turns out to be 45 degrees and now we we'll measure the other one again placing similarly and it turns out to be 55 degrees so our perception was correct this angle indeed is greater therefore angle 55 is greater than 45 seventh Fill in the blanks with acute, obtuse, right or straight angles. A. An angle whose measure is less than that of right angle is called, well this is easy, acute angle. B. An angle whose measure is greater than that of a right angle. Well, let's make a circle demonstrate it and it is obtuse in this case because measure is greater than right angle and one thing has to be noted here that obtuse angle is less than 180 therefore it falls from 91 to 179 both inclusive therefore this is obtuse angle now the c part an angle whose measure is the sum of the measures of two right angles is so it means that there are two right angles and when they are added up they makes a straight angle it's very easy they make a straight angle therefore is a straight angle is our answer d part when the sum of the measures of two angles is that of right angle then each one of them is here it means that it implies that there are two angles which when adds up makes right angle so obviously these two angles are acute angles when they add up they make a right angle therefore answer is acute 
key part when the sum of the measures of two angles is that of a straight angle and if one of them is acute then the other should be it is saying that now the sum is a straight angle given that there is one acute angle so another should be obtuse angle well we can construct it in order to show it better so first let's make an acute angle as per given terms one of them is acute angle so let's make one acute angle so when you add this angle and the other one obviously it is obtuse angle it forms a straight angle of 180 degrees therefore the other one is obtuse angle so this was your question number seven eighth find the measure of the angle shown in each figure find estimate with your eyes and then find the actual measure with a protractor so here first we will estimate this seems to be about 40 to 45 degrees it is half of 90 it seems to be and now here it is obviously obtuse angle greater than 90 and about 40 add to it so 140 roundabout we can estimate it it is bigger than the first one and lesser than the 90 so it would be about 60 degrees something and here we can it is again obtuse but it is greater than the above one so now we'll try to measure it with the help of protractor we are done with estimate part so this is a protractor and when you place point with zero here it goes all up to zero to 40 degrees so first answer is 40 degrees second as we estimated it is about it is exactly 130 degrees so we'll check it it falls to 130 degrees now here as we mentioned earlier it seems to be greater so it is 5 degree more again using the same concept in similar fashion we can find it as 135 degrees the last part it was greater than 45 degrees and less than 90 degree and when you measure it from 0 it gives us 65 degrees that was your question number 8 9. Find the angle measure between the hands of the clock in each figure. These are three clocks and we will find the measure of the angle. So first one is 9 am. Well, it is easy. It is 90 degrees. Or one fourth of the whole revolution. Second is 1 pm. Here, each hour makes 30 degrees. You have to remember it. Also, you can check it as 12 3 is 36 because here we have 12 hours so 12 into 30 would give you 360 so that forms our 1 pm now 6 pm it is very easy a straight angle therefore straight angle equal to 180 for half of 360 degree that is full angle that was your question 9 then investigate in the given figure the angle measure 30 degree look at the same figure through a magnifying glass does the angle become larger does the size of the angle change so here we will measure or rather we will investigate with the help of magnifying glass this is magnifying glass and you can see that angle remains same however it appears to be larger but the size of the angle doesn't change it just seems to be larger but the actual measure is same 30 degrees you can see it with the help of magnifying glass therefore we can say that it looks larger but does the size of the angle change the view through the magnifying glass will not change the angle measure it still remains 30 degree 
because you're 10th. 11th, measure and classify each angle. Now again, we'll measure it first and we will classify. So, here is the reference protractor. AOB, this is AOB and it is acute angle obviously less than 90 degree. And when you place this ray on this point in 0 degrees and measure all up to 40 degrees, it comes out to be 40 degrees. Therefore, 40 and acute. Now, AOC. This is your AOC and it is obtuse angle. And when we measure in the same fashion, then it goes all up to 125 degrees here. So, now BOC, angle BOC, this is your BOC. Now, we'll place the angle tilted, that is this side on ray OB. And when we read it, it gives us 85 degree here. Now, angle DOC, this is your D. O, C, it is just above 90 degree at it seems to be. Now when we place the protractor on ray O, B, on ray o D and read it from this side, from this degree, inner degrees, it comes out to be 95 degrees. So here, this point, the same point as it was earlier. It is obtuse angle because greater than 90. Now DOA, this is your DOA. Now here we will invert our protractor and put ray OD over zero reference point and we'll measure the angle all up to from this side, from this outer zeros, outer degrees to it comes out to be 140 degree. So it is obtuse angle. The last angle, angle DOB. We don't have to even measure it. It is straight angle. Therefore, 180 degrees. So this was your question 11th.